Hello friends, welcome back for some more Light's Revenge. Well, what do we have here? Some brigands. Ooh, some thugs. Poachers, a few raiders, war dogs, monk, poacher, poacher, minstrel, witch hunter. Yeah, let's definitely take that on. I was expecting just a clean walk all the way up north, but we will start working. Uh, there's a few things I wanted to talk about concerning the gear that we have left over. And uh, also I wanted to just show off Kuno's beautiful head there. Look at that. Uh, I wanted to take a look at the heavy mail coif and compare it to Danny Flint's adorned clothes flat top. I was considering to show her face and switch up her helmets to give her some more initiative, you know. But honestly, it, it's not giving as much as I thought we would be getting. Uh, Dodge is at 22, and then we get one for for switching this. This weighs five, this weighs 15. <laughs> so why, why are they so different? It is strange to me. It's only six, but it's uh, it's more like ten. And I don't know what perk it's going off of. Ah, right there, balance reduces the penalty of initiative due to head and body armor by thirty percent. Okay, so with the uh, with her with that perk and the gear that she has on including the hyena mantle we're we're basically fine with the initiative that we're getting out of this uh, okay there we go so we're getting 11 initi initiative and then initiative loss due to built fatigue is reduced by 50 percent but we knew that already so 11 initiative from this we're getting 15 initiative from the fur mantle uh which is 26 initiative now, I was looking at changing her up quite a bit, and I'm um, pretty surprised at the fact that even even switching this gear here, the warrior's armor weighs 22. This weighs 20. So this really is the better gear. And uh, in combination with balance, it's um, it's perfect. For Danny Flint, there's no reason to change her. I'd, I really wanted to change her because I like seeing how the characters or the mercenaries evolve with their gear in Legends. That's just probably not going to be the case for Danny Flint unless we get some insane named items for her. So we'll give that back to Kuno. I do have another adorned clothes flat top, and I don't know who that's going to go for. Uh, I was going back and forth on putting it on the front line, maybe give it to Hawker. Does he really deserve it? I mean, he deserves it, right? It doesn't, I don't really care about his fatigue all that much. Uh, it goes up by 105 for his head armor, but. I don't think he really needs it anyway. He doesn't get hit very frequently. And then it's just way too heavy for basically anybody else on the front line, except for Leaf. Leaf could go for it. But I'm thinking Repants. Check this out. Look at the resolve. It increases when I give her heavier gear. And that's because of Bulwark. Resolve is increased by 2% of the combined current durability of head and body armor so we want to really lay some pretty heavy stuff on her now yeah this is actually giving her encumbrance so i don't want to give her too much heavy stuff i think it's beyond 50 fatigue yeah if if your total remaining fatigue after gear is less than 50 40 30 20 um and so on so we don't want to do that maybe it would be nice. I'd, I'd like to get her a heavier helmet, and perhaps we do something like this. The rest of the Kettle Helm. I'll probably end up dropping that, honestly, and give her something like this. 
Uh, so it gives her a little bit more, but it also gives her more protection. And I think that's important. Both of, the, both of those things are important. We'll do this for now, because why not? These aren't ready either. And I do want to give her the better the better uh, armor anyway. It is a, an increase. Oh, she doesn't have... Okay. So she has this simple male shirt versus this is the, the basic male shirt, which is much better. So we'll give her the much needed upgrade in gear. Uh, it's not going to be this, but I, I will give her this once um, once it's ready and anyway. That'll that'll be worth it. Um, this. I'm gonna give this decayed heater shield. It weighs four more than the wooden shield. It's 24. It's this is 24. What's really the difference? It's it's five more melee defense. I don't see why that, that I mean that that's worth the four extra fatigue in my opinion. Now he's at 42 instead of 37. We'll get these painted up before we head into this battle. And I think that's it. I'm still wondering who to give this to. Uh, I was considering Gerard, but what I'm afraid of is, look at his eyes, his beady little eyes showing through there. Um, you, I have a hard time with giving the two-handed, like the back line, pull arms and pull weapons, um, anything that reduces fatigue, uh, reduces vision by too much, because at night they have a hard time swinging two, uh, with a range of two. So I don't, I don't really like the idea of giving this to somebody unless they had uh, more. I don't really have anybody with like uh, Night Owl would be a good thing because then it, it wouldn't affect them. Uh, do I have anybody with that? No. Instead I have this Night Blind. So even worse. Ah! funny and it's on Danny Flint too um, so yeah anyway I don't like giving uh, reducing the the uh, vision of those on the back line so it's gonna be sitting here until I find somebody for the front line now I could give it to to somebody here as I was saying before but I, I don't want to reduce fatigue too much and these things are, are this one's very heavy so, if I had somebody with Barani, um, if I had somebody without a shield, even, I mean, he has Barani and he, we're still weighing him down by quite a bit, so, I think because of this. Anyway, that's, that's the, uh, the, the conversation I wanted to have before starting and uh, heading down the road. We do have a level up for Danny Flint. And I'm thinking battle flow. We still don't have a fencing sword. I have the money. Maybe we, if we find it, I'll purchase it and we can go for fencer. I've never made a fencing build. I've, uh, I think I've said in the past that I've put a fencing sword in somebody's hand and that's about it. I didn't really do much after that. I didn't try and build a fencer and I don't even know if it was in legends or in vanilla, so. Uh, we'll go for battle flow once per turn. Killing an opponent reduces current fatigue by 10% of the base maximum fatigue before penalties due to armor are applied. So at the moment, that is 114. Now I wonder, it says due to armor. So the shield, the arming sword, and anything in her pockets are not part of that. But regardless, that's 10, that's 6, that's nothing. So we're at... Uh, 98, I think, is what that would be. So, I could put two more and make it 100. But anyway, you can kind of see what my, my idea here is. We can get about 10 back uh, by killing somebody, getting 10 fatigue back. That is more than a slash. So, she'll be pretty high with fatigue as long as she's killing. Three, three, and five. Yeah, nothing, nothing more to say about that. Perfect. Now, 
I do want the fencing sword. I definitely do. If we get the fencing sword, tempo... Well, I think tempo regardless is going to be a good one for her. Exploit opening. I'm going to drop exploit opening because for the same reason that I took assured conquest instead of overwhelm. Exploit opening is only going to be the target that swings at her. Has a... will gain a 10% chance to hit against them. She's already at 95% chances of hitting most enemies at, that I've seen so far. And we're going to be probably hitting them anyway, so we don't need another 10% on top of that. Instead, we'll go for tempo, I think, is the better choice here. If if it comes down to, you know, exploit opening or tempo. Now we still have Duelist, we still have Live. Do I want to take any of those? Uh, we also have Berserk, so that's one, two, three, four, and I can only choose two of them if I do take the Fencer build or, or perk. We also have Killing Frenzy, so one, two, three, four, five that I have to choose two from. All right. Okay. So, let's get, ah, to painting. Can't paint. Yeah, I figured that was going to be the case. Okay, we can't paint this one. Is there something that we could maybe be close to what we want? Not really. Okay, we'll get out of here. Uh, leave. Everybody's in good shape, I believe, because I did a lot of camping beforehand. Yeah, Variato needs some help here, but honestly, what I can do is something like this. Or even just do that. Uh, 107 versus one, oops, uh, versus 105. So, whoops, we'll fix this up. I'll give this to him. This is much better for now, and we will be on our way. Cool. Let's go take on these brigands. What's that, too? Ooh. They, it looks like they turned to, to face us. A monk and a minstrel. Those are a little concerning. Alright. Um, we're all breaking or wavering because of our, our oath. We'll start at breaking or wavering. So basically what I need to do is Repants needs to just go around and tutor horn a couple times. Uh, we'll do it from here. Maybe we'll run up here, do it again. And uh, yeah, and we'll we'll be we'll be back. And then we need to get to confident. I think it was 150 times. Is that what it was? It's over a hundred. It could be 150. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. They're on higher ground. They're almost certainly going to want to wait uh, for us. So we'll, we'll sit until... Oh, these are probably dogs. Yeah. But maybe we can take a couple shots at them. I'm afraid of this one. There we go. So, yeah, we'll walk up and... Eesh! Why do they love Kuno so much? What is... He's got something... That they don't like. I was hoping Repants would be going early. This might be the, the downfall of this plan, is where Pants goes way too late. But what I'm thinking of doing is maybe shield wall and then slowly walk up and then repants. But we'll do, we'll do like... Let's do the shield wall and wait. Maybe I should have done that with her too, but I don't have to really worry about you. And here we go. Oh, 
that was just a wow okay great job does that does that work for her that's a good question because i didn't see her i didn't see the uh anything work for her so uh let's start moving up there we go that looks like a great place for him that way if they decide to stand here that um uh, we can think of a way to surround a little bit. So, yeah, I guess I didn't need to, to shield ball with her. Um, I'd like to maybe charge out. But I don't want to get stuck with any of this stuff. There's the monk, the minstrel, the poacher. There was one other thing I can't remember. Hmm. And Carl needs to kind of switch with her pants. So we'll wait because I don't want to... Okay. Well, here they come. Now, it is in their best interest to charge us now. keep going for him I think I'd love to oh I could go for that minstrel 50% chance to hit though what about you good hit that was kind of important good and she just decided to stay right there I love it there uh, let's wait I I think I need to kill this dog before I can start going maybe I maybe I unleash it now well there we go there now he's stuck there too I don't have to really worry too much about you forgetting about the nice well that works out i i'm forgetting that i'm getting this i, I hear the sound and i forgot i could swing again but that's that's probably for the best that i don't keep swinging with uh zorian uh carl end your turn right there that's a great place uh we have the nine so maybe just something like that's fine I'll probably end up switching. Now, what is he? Shield Expert. Okay, I, I assume every raider now is going to just have Shield Expert. 32% chance to hit is not that good. Sh knockback? 57? That's great. Leaf, thank you. That's something. I'm not too worried about all this, but I will just end up fortifying. And I think if I move over here and to the horn, we'll be a little bit closer. guys I kind of want to try that again but let's go for that poacher 
would love to hit that. 52%. I don't think anybody's in the way. They're, they're going to be rolling really well, you can see. <laughs> Dang. And I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I want to see him step up here, and I'll try and kill him so that we can step up with Zorian instead. Um, I'd like Variato to do a little bit of a flanking mission here. I think that's going to be fun. There we go. So he can hop up there unless somebody else steps up, but I, I doubt that. Um, could hit. Oh, I love seeing stuff like that. That that just makes my day. Twenty-three percent. Now let's let's do a bit of a flanking with you too. Um, I mean, do we we kind of continue knockback maybe again? Let's just go for it. We got one. Just keep holding. So there we go. We've got one, two, three, four so far. I don't think tooting the horn is necessary. Go for the hit. Uh, wait there, but I, I would like to get moving still. I want her to be... I'd like for her to be... to have better armor so I can be in the... like, in it with her. Oh, stupid dog. It's a 50-50. I kind of want to take that shot. That's a 50-50 as well. Well, let's maybe try and take them out just for fun. Maybe it hurts the morale with some rolls. Yeah, that's why I should take them out, right? Ah, you dog. I don't know, uh, hmm. I guess flank him. Go for it, Kuno. Forty-three percent, sixty-two. Let's go for the monk. Yeah, go for it. Again. So let's see. That's good hit. Nicely done.
They're starting to retreat. Gone. We got lucky there. Got unlucky there. So I mean we're we're doing the we're doing the work here. We're getting enough now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of them. I'd like to get Yeah, I'd like to get them all, right? Uh, we've got maybe this would be the better chance there, so we'll end there. We'll just kind of pile around her and everyone that isn't yet isn't confident I'll put around her or as close to her and yeah, it's gonna take some time for some people but uh, that way I can maximize that good and Good, there we go. Man, that is fantastic. Um, run them down. I'll try to get a couple more. They're out of here. For sure. Great. Uh, there's going to be one more right there. It's pretty overpowered, I think. To be able to shoot flaming arrows, that's that's pretty it's pretty awesome, right? But I'd say it's pretty overpowered. You can control I mean if you had the whole back line nine of them, you'd be able to control quite quite a bit. Ah, almost. You'd be able to control quite a bit with with those Ah, that's too bad. All right. I mean, we're not going to be able to catch up, so it's over. Uh, Brianna Parth with a level. That's it. And, I mean, we got some, some stuff we can fix and, of course, break down. And I'd really like to get these so that I can break down as much as possible, but... I don't... Oh, yeah, we will. All right. So... That was a good start. A little bit of a little bit of work there. Let's see about what we're gonna fix and break down and all that stuff. Full, full packs here. Uh, Brian of Tarth, level five. I think we could just take Sword Mastery now. We can go discover talent. We can do that now. So let's take it. So we'll level up twice. Whoops, cancel. Uh, so we'll take the three. I'll take the three, and I think I'll take the five in fatigue. Nice. Oh, but I want... Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't need fatigue with her. I need to remind myself. I don't necessarily need the fatigue with her. So I... But I, I need... I need this. I need this. And I feel like I should always take the defense... Was, was there a reason why I would take this? I, 
I kind of want to take it now instead. 38 to 46 melee defense. I'd like to give her a little bit more fatigue. But I am going to take Brawny later, and she's only going to hold a two-handed sword, so I don't I don't really need the fatigue, but I really want to give that to her. This is tough. Because I need the hit points because of uh, Colossus and Muscularity. I'm gonna I'm gonna skip it this one time. I'm gonna give her the fatigue, because we're gonna put another one in immediately. This, this, and this. Uh, I just wanted to give her a little bit more fatigue so we can use her immediately. Man, I want to do it again. 35 to 42. No, even on the low end at 45, I'd like to hit 35, so... Okay. Good. Brienne's really coming together nicely. Is it really that low? 12. Oh, because of huge. Yeah, so that means... Even though it's 35 is on the low end of our possibility here, we'll only ever be 30 to 36. So it would be because she's so huge and seductive. Uh, so yeah, we'll we'll stick with we'll keep going putting into melee defense. We'll take Brawny probably, maybe, um, and then we'll. Uh, when we get a two-handed sword, we're just going to drop everything and just give it to her and um, give her the heaviest gear that we have. She's probably, honestly, going to take this when it comes time. I just, I want her to be more useful right away, so. Okay, you can take that back. Uh, Alright, so. We've got a little bit of injuries here and there from that fight. We'll definitely have to camp. Let's make it to Duncan Tall before we do something like that. Where are these coming from? Bull's Mark. That is... That's over here. Oh, we're far, far away. I was, I was getting a little nervous about what we'd find on the road, but we are so far away from House Berengar. We shouldn't be too nervous anymore. Um, it is dusk, so let's hope we... Oh, night. What would this be? Oh, we can certainly take something like that. Follow the tracks. Oh yeah, this will be a breeze. Uh, I would like to camp a little bit. I think everyone's working. Yep, let's camp. What's this? Did somebody just march? No, they all disappeared. Okay. Ah, because I pressed F. Footprints. What is the... Oh, those are the footprints. <laughs> those are the footprints we need to follow. Uh, I want to, to heal up before we go charging out there. And... Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, that's good enough. Um, Brienne of Tarth picked up 79 more. Maybe we want to put her to work now. I don't really want to get her... We're out of tools and supplies. Everything is pretty much fixed up, which is great. I'm going to sell almost all of this stuff. I picked up the quality wood back from where we started. Uh, down here in Elkshorn. Uh, you can see that just laid waste. There was actually another one out here, but one, two, three, four battle sites. Uh, we had we had quite a bit of fighting in, around in and around Elkshorn. Um, okay, well, let's follow these tracks before they disappear. Throw of thugs. They're just sitting out in the marsh. Good. We're not going into the marsh. Let's get them from the forest. Because of the armor we're looking at, let's uh, actually let's wait. Because I'll be able to switch as soon as he's 
in melee, we can switch out. Maybe I'll do something. Ah, let's do this now. Kuno, you're you're ready for this. I'm just ending everyone's turn. I'm not even going to waste time lifting shields or anything like that. Uh, because it because I know it's going to take some time. Man, look at that. Everyone except for Brienne, Hawker, and Thordis. So we got to move that direction a little bit. Carl's turn is already done. That's too bad. I should have maybe moved back and switched them around a little bit. Oh, Carl didn't do it either. Doesn't look like they really like the idea of charging. Hmm. We'll, we'll wait one more time. That's basically everyone except for Brienne now, um, and then of course Repants. Now that we're we're at steady, we'll be able to raise once we start killing some others. Like this. There's one. Sneaky dog. Love that. Fatigue up. Nope. All gone.
don't think I need now. Let's just hop in there. See, like that tiny rock right there. A boulder, a large stone boulder, blocks movement and line of sight. Look at that. <laughs> it's so tiny. I doubt that blocks my sight. Oh, whatever. So I don't think I'll be able to catch up to them. So as soon as we're done this. And they're out of here. So I'll wait until the, the message pops up and this turns green. I guess I could send my dog out, but Gerard's the one that has it and he's a little too far. So it's over. It's fine. We picked up almost everyone. Gerard and Carl with a level up. That's fantastic. I like seeing those two leveling. And we'll be on our way. Yes, let's collect our meager pay here. No problem. We'll probably end up just camping here again for the night. Uh, let's see here. Camp. And I'm going to take her out of here. Can she do anything fletching? Nah. Uh, salvage. And repair. Let's put her into the repair, I guess. I mean, it's nice to keep her here. But I don't, I don't want her to get hurt while she's in there. So we'll, we'll camp here for the night again. And before we do that, Gerard, I'm going to put one of these for Gerard. And how does this compare? 70 versus 75. Let's just do that, I guess. Uh, this thing, 70 and 4. Might be a good change for Brienne. Let's do that for Brienne of Tarth. Carl. And Repants, too. Really? I have not taken Long Reach yet. Uh, Clarity. Hale and Hardy. We could go for Battle Forge, but I don't think we're. It's, that's necessary yet. Let's go for long reach. This is just going to help out the front line with their chances of hitting. So I like that idea. Yep. And it's a passive thing, so she doesn't need to be swinging in order for it to work. She can just be, you know, she can just be in the area. And as long as she can reach them with her weapon, she's now included in the surround bonus. I like that quite a bit. We'll take the resolve, I'll take the skill, and uh, I mean, four more hit points wouldn't be too bad, would it? I kind of want more range defense, but they keep rolling this, so yeah, 68. So we're minus 10 of whatever that is at the moment. Uh, Carl. Carl's fate is sealed. I think I'd like to do this. I'd like to take menacing. Um... I like to do basically anything. Ah, right, 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 right. So right here. I meant to, to talk about this. Yeah, we already have all of this. Uh, this says requires cutting damage. And I, I had suggested before that it, it says polearm, and I wish it said pierce, and blah, blah, blah. And Sony had pointed out that it actually says it here. So uh, it says inflicts cutting damage. So taking dismemberment isn't such a bad idea at the moment. We don't have an axe for him yet, so I don't want to give him axe mastery. I don't want to give him menacing because he's not on the front line yet. So we'll give him dismemberment. Now this means he has to stay with the bill hook. I can't give him uh, I can't give him the pike because the pike is piercing damage. And then of course this inflicts no damage. Um, same thing with the hook, which I 
almost never use the hook, and I very rarely use repel, but I'll use repel before the hook, which I'm not sure. I could see this being useful, I guess as a quick little tangent, I could see this being useful if we're in the mountains and I reach across this kind of gap, pull them into the gap, they fall into the gap, right? And then uh, uh, they take damage because of the fall. But anyway, we'll take that. Three, of course. Hit points, of course. And he rolls another three. Is that is that what's happening here? Has he been rolling three this whole time? Because that's great. That's great. He's already at 20 melee defense. Okay. And then almost Gerard. We've already taken Axe Mastery. We've already taken Timber. Um, skillful stacking could be helpful because now we're running out of space. And I'd, I'd like to not run out of space. Uh, Sundering Strikes, we can't take it. As far as I know, like as the highest tier we can go is Skillful Stacking. Taken Colossus. Could take Colossus. Let's see how he levels. Yikes. Well, we'll take the three. I feel like I need to just take whatever he rolls there. I think so. And we will continue with the melee defense. And he's going to be helpful. And he, he keeps rolling threes here too. I'd like for him to be rolling higher than that. Um, we could go Colossus. But this, man, I, I have a hard time with this. More hit points would be cool, but he's at 84 and he's on the back line for now. So more stash spaces, 12 more, and 9 fatigue. Or we could just take woodworking and then it allows the creation of fine wood from rough wood in the crafting tent. Do we have somebody crafting? That would make that, oops. That would make it uh, useful? We don't. Uh, we do have Thordis that would be helpful in crafting. And she's the only healer. Yikes. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. I don't want her to be the healer. Uh, leave. No, 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 no. So, I mean, we could take woodwork. I feel like I'm going to skip it. Let's take skillful stacking. It does give him more fatigue which is great to swing this we can go for the smashing shields and then swing again and we'll be uh using a lot more fatigue from something like that this gives us more stash i think if we leave to the map and then come back okay there it is so that's that's great <clears throat> and then um that's going to be helpful. I think I said I'm going to take this last so that I can make him more more useful until then. And then at the end, or maybe when I feel like it's sufficient, we'll, uh, we'll take it. But we'll definitely take it. And that's it. Let's camp here for the night. Ah, one more thing. Professional. We're at... 1376. I think we need 14 in order to get. Yes. Do I have time to maybe hit that? We gained some fresh meat. Contract available. Well, I wanted to check out. Nope. Uh, I wanted to check out the market prices. More wood. 14% though, man. Well, I'll take the wood. And the tools and supplies are expensive, but it's going to be worth it in the end once everything's fixed. Um, I do want to throw out a question. What would be the purpose of gathering tools? Collection of tools, having this in your stash upgrades your camp. What does that mean? Right, let's let's head to the camp. I guess I won't be finishing. I've, I want to end with a question here. Uh, 
Here. So, an upgraded tent has a 15% chance in gathering or 15% increase in gathering speed. Additionally, there's a chance that some more potent and more and useful medicines will be discovered. So a gathering tent would be actually pretty decent. Now this was this was only by chance that we found the gathering tent. What does it do? I saw a hunter's tent before. 10% increase in hunting efficiency. A chance that some of the spoils of the hunt other than food can also be salvaged and brought back to camp. So maybe like tools and supplies and ammo? ammo? Huh. Uh, what is patrol? Revealing the defenders of any camps encountered. Oh, okay, okay. Additionally, while on patrol, there's a chance that a location of enemy outposts can be determined. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen that, but I don't think, um, I don't know if it's, is the additionally on top of the upgraded tent or just in general? I'm not sure what to think about that. 15% and every tender ability equals a tool. Oh, this would be good. It's 10 instead of 15. So we get a lot more tools and supplies. And there's a chance that ammunition of disposable throwing kind will be crafted. Like a net, maybe? And bombs? Could that be the case? Huh. Now, I do know this one, the training grounds, also gives a chance of a permanent skill increase. Um, this one is, is kind of important if you're, if you're going to be training a lot, then the training grounds upgraded is pretty important because it gives you the, the chance to gain permanent skill increases, which would be, uh, I, I know I saw somebody here that had it, Carl. Training progress. He's gained four skill points so far. I don't know how many you can gain up to a point. Um, if there's a cap on it or per level or something like that. But um, you can't gain these until you've upgraded your tent. Your training tent. So I feel like this one could be good. The gathering because I've put people in my gather. Uh, well, I have one person doing it, I guess. It's only Gerard. But he could be pretty helpful there. And I can maybe find another gatherer at some point. Uh, is this a good time to, to start upgrading? I've got the money, right? Uh, there's, the, <laughs> there's the wild woman. And she's pretty cheap. So I'd like to hire her, wouldn't I? But there's also Eric. Eric looks like somebody I'd like to hire too. Hmm. I need to go here. Oh, this is a patrol. Right? Yeah, patrol, patrol, patrol. So we'll gain some money in advance, and then we'll we'll get some money. 72 per head. Uh, that's quite a bit. Up to 30? I don't normally take these. Let's do it. Alright, let's do it. Because I feel like... Where, where do we have to go? Elkshorn, Sandorf, and then back to Duncanthal, I think. Uh, so we could maybe find some enemies, but uh, some caravans. I don't think they would count towards this because they're not enemies of of uh, this house. But and It doesn't say that. It just says every head you collect, but... So let's, let's head down to Elkshorn. I'll probably end it before finishing this. Uh, but we should get lucky and find some enemies around here. Yeah, they're running from... Well, that's not the kind of enemies I'm looking for. But Thor, a few berserkers, some warriors, and a few warlords? No. No. Uh, yeah, that's that's not the kind of thing I was looking for.
This one might be more to my liking. What's this, too? What's this? Twenty. Yeah, we could do something like that. So many thugs, some poachers, some raiders. I think we're good to go. What was this, too? Is that that's a different group? But this is what I mean. We just have to fight this one, maybe another fight, and we'll be gaining a lot of money from this. So let's fight this one. Whoops, fall back. I just want to make sure, but I'm I'm pretty sure we're good to go. Yeah, we're good to go. Yeah, so we've got that one. Oh, I didn't sell off all my stuff. Oh, that's a bummer. I should have sold it off, even though it might not be enough money. Okay, well, we'll do something like that. We'll start setting up here that, yeah, they're coming to us. Maybe... Ah, uh, let's wait. Since they are coming to us. Hey now, don't, don't do that. 10% chance. Uh, this guy is going to be an issue because then they can start going down into here. We'll take it. Yeah, almost. There we go. We'll have a, have a dog fight there. Whew. Leaf. Oh, I keep forgetting about that short sword. Don't know why I put it there. Uh, yeah, don't, uh, don't worry. That's why it's a bit overpowered, right? Just a bit. Uh, I'd like to, I'd like to do like repost, but I'm not sure who's going to be going up. I could go here and just do it, but we'll we'll see what happens. Probably a. Uh... Ugh, that looks like a. Fun idea. Yeah, I don't think anybody really wants to go up against her here. Stepped into the fire to take that swing. Shots there. Wait there for a moment. I need to back away from this situation. Oh, I should have took a step. 
All right. That was something. Keep going. Or let's pop over here and do it. Yeah, that was worth it. Um, yeah, go go for it, Danny. Good doggy. I think that was a good idea. You just made her stronger. I'm always I'm a, I'm afraid of doing stuff like that, honestly. They're hitting too much stuff here. This is just a thug. Switch that up then. I'm gonna need some help up here. Carl, go up there, please. And just hop. <laughs> Look at that. Now you are all stuck. Kind of what I figured what was going to happen. Every time I paint a shield, they, they seem to find a way to get rid of it. over. So, yeah, we will leave Riyato, uh with level ups. We'll be missing out on quite a bit of stuff, I think. Well, we'll do something like that. And, um, yeah, maybe not. Maybe we'll get a lot of that. But we've already picked up 20 heads, I think. Or maybe dogs don't and count. I just saw 14. One got away. There were a couple dogs. Huh. There were 20, right? Um, yeah. Well, we're halfway there, anyway. And we are 32 out of 150. This seems pretty doable. Yeah, this seems doable. Uh, we'll leave the patrol for the next time. It looks like there's some enemies right up here. Let's let's go take a peek, huh? Ah, it was the bug. I think it was just them. Um, but there's there were some some orcs that went this way, so we'll we'll maybe try and hunt those down and finish this patrol off to Elkshorn. And then to, I believe it was Sandorf. And then we'll just have to return to Duncanthal. But uh, at the moment, we're doing pretty good. A good amount of money is going to come from this. And then I'm hoping, because it's a noble contract, we'll gain enough renown that we can hire the next two. We'll be in Duncanthal again, where we can find um, either we can pick up that hunter and 
the wild woman or just pick up the hunter and we can find another I'd, I'd like to find maybe a, a crossbowman or like two rangers so that we can start firing out some uh, some bolts and more arrows at our enemies okay well that should do it for this episode uh, I hope you enjoyed it you can let me know by leaving a like or a comment and if you're feeling ultra generous you can follow the link in the description to buy me a coffee I also want to just give a shout out to those that are buying me coffees who are sending support to the channel and I greatly appreciate it greatly appreciate it coffee has been delicious lately with that thanks for stopping by and i hope to see you next time